We start in Hillsborough County where leaders reopened the Apollo Beach Nature Preserve just a week ago. It was shut down after the deaths of a father, his son, and a good Samaritan who tried to save them. Tonight, there are new safety reminders out to try to prevent any more tragedies. ABC Action News reporter Haley Bull learns more about these changes. While families enjoy a windy day at Apollo Beach Preserve, scattered between them is a solemn reminder. I think it's it's good that they're creating awareness. It'll keep everybody safe. A safety message following the deaths of a father and his young son, Janosh and Daniel Puricow, and a good Samaritan, Christoph Murray, who tried to save them when a current swept them away. We don't want that to ever happen again. Hillsborough County added 15 new signs, reminding people no swimming, no wading, and the potential dangers behind it. In time for the preserve's reopening Saturday. We're going to have uh, at least one staff member at the preserve, uh, in particular the beach area, uh, every day for the next several weeks, uh, just to make sure that um, uh, the rules are being adhered to. In addition to these education efforts long term, the county says it will continue to evaluate safety. Already, some are noticing a change. It's not as many people, because normally when we come, it's a lot of people on the beach and in the water, standing on the rocks, but today is it's nobody. For those who knew Janosh and Daniel. It's just a really, really sad situation because, you know, one day, they're here, next day they're not. They remember a doting, safety-minded father. And I think the changes are good, but I think it's more important to emphasize education. If it saves one person, it, it's gonna be worth it. And I know that the uh, it's gonna be a long summer and you know, there'll be a lot of uh, uh, visitors and tourists out there and that they, they need to they need to know that stuff. In Apollo Beach, Haley Bull, ABC Action News. And this kind of protocol is important for you to know, especially with families taking more trips to the bay and the beach. Here are a couple things to keep in mind from the American Red Cross. First, never swim alone. And if you've got children or inexperienced swimmers in tow, you want to make sure you have a life jacket that's U.S. Coast Guard approved. That also goes for boaters. You also want to be realistic. Know your limitations in the water. And make sure you're familiar with where you're swimming, like checking rip current conditions and the water temperature there.